right along. A little tabloid never hurt anybody, yes. right? No, so the not. tabloids are reporting that Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's daughter, Shiloh, that's their uh, eldest biological child, well, she likes to dress as a boy, and she wants the family to call her Shax, which sounds more like her brother's Pax and Knox. She is five. Should her parents give her the power to make these decisions? I mean, if you have a kid that's a, you know, a tomboy and... You well, know, you know, my you daughter, do? when she was uh, five or so, she only would wear dresses. She refused to wear pants. So when it was like 30 below, she would go out with a dress. So I had to really put like three uh, leotards on her and really pack her on. And then she'd wear like, she'd pick her own clothes. So she'd wear plaids with stripes and all sorts of so crazy. Like and today she's an artist. So I really think that a child has a free, should have a freedom to dress the way they want to dress. Okay. It, it allows them to be who they are. It's wonderful. But then, you know, I think, uh, I, I, you know, I don't know if they're saying uh, they're going to go to court to change your name because I think that's what nicknames are for, mm -hmm. you, know, the, you know. But I'm going, do you let your child make decisions that are go that may affect the rest of their life? Well, and they don't know what the rest of their life is. Well, like what? They're it's, underage. But do you also protect their, I mean, we talk, think about protecting our children in terms right. of safety and health, but we also should protect them emotionally, right? Yeah. And psychologically. And I think if you know that your child is in a way suffering or feeling trapped mm -hmm. um, being forced by society to wear a certain clothing type um, based on gender then as a parent and having not gone through this myself um, I would imagine that you would want to make the best decision the for your child is. to keep them safe there too, not just externally in terms of safety, et cetera, but also just in their hearts and minds so they feel confident but who don't they girls really dress do like believe they are. boys a lot these days. I mean, if you, if you turn on the TV, you see TV hosts dressed like women. Some of the women on TV dress like guys. I've seen it. Well, they're saying, she, you well, know, Shiloh, like she, they cut her hair. She wanted her hair cut, yeah. you know, because she I, thinks she's one of her brothers. I think it's and, also how big of a deal you make of something. You she's know, like, you, yeah, can, you can find with her brothers. That's all. But you know, also, I think there is the fear this, these days is my child gay and should I recognize this is my child possibly transgender right. and should so maybe if you are worried you need some kind of outside help otherwise if your kid wants to change the I mean my I went through most of my life being called Bobby now you know and because I hated Barbara you know, is that a terrible thing? I think it depends on the severity and how much it interferes with the child's... But if the, child's, pro if the child's propensity is to be gay, and that's going to be a fact, then Cynthia Nixon notwithstanding, that is what that child is going to be, whether okay, they well, like it or not. It like it's, if it's, that doesn't you know, mean the child can't dress, you know, may not be, can't dress in... But just you know, because you say to a girl who might be a lesbian, no, you have to wear a dress, doesn't mean she's not going to be a lesbian. Looking at the, why are we looking at a child going, well, they might be gay because they just want to... I mean, like, yeah. Jeffrey, Jeffrey sees me putting on lipstick all the time, so he took the chapstick and he put it all over his face. Right. I'm not looking at him going, oh my gosh, you may have a propensity to be gay. He just wanted, he just tried something. I, I mean, why are we putting that just on like this? has dry skin. <laughs> <laughs> Three kids, and so you get the last word Do you on this. Think of that? You know, I, I think you, I think as a parent, like I said, you have to protect them as individuals and pre protect their hearts. And I think also, like you know, making a big deal out of something all the time and having hyper attention on one issue in their lives when it comes to how they're dressing or how they're feeling, they are going through developmental stages that need to be gone through. And that, quite frankly, I think in our day and age, we spend too much time with the hyper focus on it. You and see, then I don't let Jeffrey put on different clothes, and it's not because I don't want him to, to uh, you know, be free and feel who he wants. I don't have time. We got a certain amount of time to get on here. You go. Put on what I tell you to put on. I don't, I don't have time to go through all of that. You want to do this? You want to do this? You want to put this on your head? You wanna, we don't have time. Okay, speaking of time, you want to give a message. I just want to say Tracy Morgan.